Hi everyone, my name is Monica Godoy and I am on the Oracle Apex team. In this video I'm going to review the migration project in order to understand how it works and what you need to focus when you will be creating your Apex application. Let's start creating the project. Navigate to Oracle Force Migration, Create Project, Enter the name of the project, in this case Summit, Description, select the schema and the XML file. Click Next. If you have more files to upload, click Upload another file and select the type and the file. Click Upload. If you have another file to upload, click Upload, otherwise just click Create. The key with the migration project is that you don't need to be an expert in Oracle Forms in order to modernize the application. The project will show you all the components in the form and the business logic inside of the form. What you need is to explore every component and get what is important for your new application. Ok, the new migration project was created. Let's explore the customer's form. In our component there are two alert messages. Reviewing every message, I find out that I don't need to replicate it or create this message by my own. The form will automatically create the message so the user can confirm if they really need to delete the customer. Define if this object is applicable or not, the priority, and some other notes. Now reviewing the blocks. You can define if the block is applicable, the priority, if it's complete, and more. But also, you can annotate the tables, the relation type, and hopefully you can figure out the type of region you will need to create in Apex. Next, you will find the items and triggers. It is important to review them in order to identify some logic you need to replicate in your Apex application. Let's see the post-query trigger. Reading this post-query trigger, I realized I don't need to replicate it in the form for customer, so it's not applicable. Let's see the Canvas component. You can find the background of the form where in Apex you can customize using the templates. There's a list of values component too, which is important to know the columns and the tables related in the SQL query. There's the program units, some logic that is inside of the form. Review if you need this logic and migrate it to the database. Most of these program units were built to manage the customer tree, so you don't need to replicate it in the Apex form. Let's review also the triggers. Some post query trigger will be automatically incorporated to your form page. 
Now review also the orders form and look for triggers, program units, and list of values. Now let's review the triggers. Keep in mind that this is an interactive report, so you can filter by applicable and track the objects that are not complete. Let's see this trigger. It is about an alert message. As I said before, the Apex form will create the message. So it's not applicable. Next trigger, um, in order to validate it, if a master record can be deleted, you can create a validation in the form. So this, this trigger is applicable. Let's look another trigger. And this trigger checks the credit rating of the customer if the payment type is credit. If the payment type is not good or excellent, the payment type should be cash. This is an important rule, so it's applicable and I'm going to hide the priority. Now let's review the program units. This is not applicable. Also, it's not applicable. Not applicable. And definitely not applicable. So nothing to worry about the program units in orders form. After reviewing the migration project, I can get an idea how to modernize the forms in which are the applicable objects for the Apex application. Thank you for watching this video.